So he's not going to be 007. It's done. The last time he was 007 was back in Spectre. And here he's just going to be James Bond. Yeah, at least he's still called James Bond. But, I mean, they're not taking that. Think, but, unless, like, he's now James Swan because, like, you know, he married... Uh, <laughs> oh, <Madeline>. no. <laughs> <laughs> James Swan. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Uh, I'm rejoined here by my good buddy John from the YouTube channel Haphazard Stuff. I hope you know him because, like I always say, he's my biggest inspiration. And uh, welcome back to the channel, John. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, and um, I'm anxious to discuss this movie that we've been waiting for. How long now? <laughs> oh yeah, how long has it been? It's it's that's the thing. Um, this thing, we've been just talking about it for years, and I feel like we've this series of videos we're about to do, we've kind of already discussed a lot of the topics in our trailer discussion we did like two years ago. Yeah. Two years ahead, we're still at the same point, but yeah, looking forward to this thing finally releasing. Uh, we're now in late June recording this in this video. The movie's going to come out in October. For the UK, they'll get it late September. As of now, how is the hype for you on No Time to Die at this moment? Um, this seems like a lifetime, a lifetime of waiting for this movie. I'll tell yeah. you. Um, I think initially, it, I was a lot more excited, like after that first trailer, like that we saw with the DB5 yeah. and Craig and all that. Um. It was it was it was it was better than I thought it would be after Spectre because as you know like I wasn't a big fan of Spectre. Yeah. Um, but since that first trailer came out, and I don't even remember when that first trailer came out, when we first saw the shots, the images of like you know how he was going to look and uh, all the other characters and everything. Since then, it's it had to it has to be like two years. <laughs> Yeah. I don't even remember the last time like when that moved, that trailer first came out, but since then things have tapered down for me. Like, and like at this point I just want to just see the movie and almost kind of get it out of the way. Yeah. I uh, think I think that is only natural for I think most people who will watch this will completely agree with you cuz I I don't think where it's humanly possible to just keep the hype all the time yeah. for this movie because yeah. they they build it up and then you know our balloon has been popped like five times and now we're i think we're finally really getting it but um yeah it, it uh, hopefully by august of course you know the hype train's going to restart and we'll hopefully get excited again to see this but um that is what these videos will be about because me and john will be doing a, a six-part series uh in mm. the lead up to no time to die discussing various topics about no time to die and in today's video we're just going to be talking about our general expectations uh maybe some concerns here and there that we have for the mm. movie um but yeah i feel the same as you the hype it's kind of died down. There's there's nothing about it in the news. I think at the moment, not not a lot of stuff going on. At least at the time of recording this. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I've heard any new news about the the film, or you know, I think any behind the scenes photos or rumors. It seems like you know, we've gone through it all. I, right. <laughs> I don't know if like they they if there was anything new in the last six six eight months since to learn about this movie other than the, the new release date that it just got 
Yeah, I agree. And I, I do, I am of the opinion, I don't need much more stuff anyway, before, because the whole movie is going to be dished out. I think they, they released like a full scene as well, like a while back. I don't I know did, if you've seen that. Yeah, I, I skipped it. I, I Like you, like I, I've seen enough from, I think it was two trailers that I saw. Yeah, that's enough. I, I don't need to start seeing extended scenes or even more additional shots or anything like it, it's been long enough that uh, I, they, they whetted my appetite fine. And now, like, they're in the position of having to try to like, keep reminding people that No Time to Die is going to be coming out. So they yeah. have to put something new together. And, oh, well, we'll use this shot of. Uh, Rami Malek sitting in his throne room or, you know, uh, Craig or yeah. Martini or some new stuff that we haven't seen. I, I'd like to be able to have a little bit of surprise. And I, I, don't I, have, I, I can kind of, from a PR standpoint, think about like how frustrating it must be to try and promote this movie in a fresh way every time. Like normally it's just without the COVID situation a movie releases and you get one period of generating hype and it comes out but they have to generate it every time with new posters and different trailers and stuff I mean, I like that thinking like when the, the, the cast finally do, does interviews for the this movie are they even going to remember any stories from the production like when they were right. filming it it was yeah. so long ago at this point the interviews are probably going to be different uh, on the red carpet or like here how was it the, to film this movie ah uh, well uh, yeah. what do you think <laughs> been a while <laughs> they've probably like filmed like uh two three movies since then like all these yeah actors. maybe yeah yeah but it is what it is but um i'm sure there is stuff to be excited about uh in no time no time to die is there anything you are really looking forward to see uh within this movie um i don't think anything specific honestly yeah um I'm curious about like his final, the final shot in the movie. Yeah. Because we know it's his last movie. Yeah. His last movie is Bond. And how are they going to do a, a memorable final shot of him? Because I don't think they're going to kill him off. I, 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 I was just who, about to ask you that. Yeah. Who, I mean, maybe they would, I guess. Maybe they'll be crazy enough to do it. But I, I don't think they would kill him off. So I'm wondering, like, okay, Inspector, they had him driving away in the DB5. In Skyfall, he, like, returns to the office, like, ready for more missions. Right. What else can you do <laughs> that, like, you well, know, something different between those two, those two extremes yeah. for a final, like, you know, goodbye to him? Well, I, like I, I, I also really hope the killing off thing won't be in there. And you, you said like, oh, I don't think they'll do it. The rumors have been around, like even around the, the Danny Boyle stuff, like back then when, yeah. when he was going to do it. So those rumors are around. It still isn't confirmed whether or not they did it. I think there were even rumors like there were multiple endings filmed at some point. I don't know if those are true. But that, that gets me thinking that there might be alternate L endings to this. I don't know. It's been a while since those theories popped up, but I hope they don't kill him off. Because to me, even if, you know, they're going to reboot it after this, that would still not be a Bond, a thing I would want to see in a Bond movie, to see our hero essentially just die like that in the ending. Yeah, that's another that's another topic, and we're 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 really starting into the the pessimistic yeah. side here of things. I know we are, but um, lots to talk about the, with this. The one. 007 controversy. I know we've we've kind of touched the edges of this before, probably in the trailer discussion. How do you feel about it today? Like, are they going to give Lashana? Because it still isn't officially confirmed, is it? Are they going to give her 007? What do I you think? They, I thought they. I thought I thought they did confirm it. Um... I maybe maybe it sounds whiny. I still don't like it. <laughs> no, I I agree. I completely I, agree. I, I don't. I I get like what people say. It's just a number. It's just a vacancy in the service that has had to be filled and everything. Right. But like to me, 007, I it's an important number to me. It's. <laughs> Yeah, if you look at the, in your background alone, you see the 007 logo on that book you have there on the shelf. Yeah. It's like you see that 
and it's synonymous with Bond. And you know, to anyone watching this, I don't need to explain it. It's like 007 is Bond. I know my my mother because because was so confused. Like she she texted me when the news came in the, in the mainstream, and she's like, "So this new black woman, she's now James Bond." Yeah, right. And I'm like, well, no, 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 she's not James Bond because she's a woman. And she's like, yeah, I know, but it says here. And then she put a link and it says, uh, uh, Lashana Lynch is 007. I'm like, well, she's 007. She's like, well, 007 is James Bond, right? So what am I saying wrong? You know, they, they that's what you get when you do this stuff. And they know what, what kind of words they would open with this. I mean, and, did they? I mean, is that what they were expecting? Like, I, when they did this, like, what kind of reaction did they anticipate? from mm. moviegoers when they say uh, okay she's gonna be 007 were they expecting controversy were they thinking like i they think they would try if if they go this route and i think definitely on the set there must have been at least discussions about this that, that it, to me it sounds like a political statement you know like a, a black female strong lead character can also be 007 that's the that's the only i mean there's no reason not to, to give her 006 or any other number other than a political statement at least in my view that's the only thing i could think of like why they would do it yeah because double the number 007 is important to like me you like all bond fans like 007 is james bond in the context of the movie what difference would have it made if they made lashana like a, a 009 that's the thing and i think i feel like we've also talked about this before but yeah that's We're the going thing. over like all this old ground. Like it it's is still it's still the same concerns I had. It's still like, the same concern, it. but it, it's it's I think it's a really valid concern because, like you like you said, if she was the only thing you're going to get from this is like bring 007 in and then the door opens and all of a sudden right. it's not Daniel Craig, it's a, it's Lashana Lynch Whoa. and it's like the reaction. But other than that, story wise. Well, you can't bring it any more deeper than the statement. Like, there's not. I mean, it, it wouldn't be a different story if she I mean, was. Would it be like, uh, like, like, uh, Rami Malek sends his bad guys out and he says, uh, "Go kill 007. and they, yeah. like, he mean he means Bond, but no, they they start attacking uh, Nomi or yeah, yeah. Uh, what difference does it make if if Craig sees somebody as Double O Seven in his old his whole job why would he care? he does he, he's he leaves the, the the that job every movie yeah. <laughs> like, like what does he care like you know about his his title uh, going to someone else the guy doesn't even yeah. want it it seems like half yeah. the time no i agree it's it, because this this goes deeper than the movie itself it's mainly for us audience yeah to, for well, us I guess it's, it's a big impact so i guess it's to prove like oh uh, anybody could be 007 yeah. i was like well Thanks for the education. But, like but the, I, I kind of realized that yeah. I, I was going to these movies because I like that guy, James Bond, and uh, as 007. Like I don't know about this new one. If I have any yeah. interest in following this person, so. nobody's ever asked about this, and it's it's and it also changes like sta staples of the Bond series, like the movies, the opening titles. It always starts with um, so and so playing. Uh, Ian Fleming's James Bond 007. It's in it's in all twenty four movie openings, and I'm now really uh, concerned. Like, are they going to do it again? Is it going to say Daniel Craig as James Bond's 007? You know, is it going to say that yeah. in the in the titles? Because technically, he's not 007. They'd have to remove that. Yeah. Maybe they would remove 007. Like that'd be part of the cool uh, title design. We'll have that traditional opening, but 007 will fade out. Exactly, it'll be like Ian it, Fleming's James Bond. Double Seven just goes yeah. away, like he's not anymore. Vanish. Uh, that that's actually what what you would do if you're Daniel Kleiman and you're making. The yeah, like Kleiman's concerts. already got that like mapped out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that's a good point. Uh, and another thing is the gun barrel. Like, is 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 Craig gonna walk in that if he if he's Double O Seven or not? Or are we, or are we gonna open the movie up when Lashana walks in? It's, I mean, it's, maybe it's, he'll 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 be in the in the gun barrel, but he'll just be hanging out at the local bar because like he, he's no reason to be wearing a <laughs> with the the, the the PPK anymore. He's Why just would like, he? you know, he's, he's going for groceries, and we just watch him in the gun barrel like you know, <laughs> right. 
Yeah. But like, uh, I, it, it's almost like I'm I'm kind of exhausted with the whole 007. All this we all are. Stuff. It's it's like, just I, one of these I don't, topics. I, I'm starting not to even care. I mean, just yeah. do it, do it, do it. I, hopefully, she's just written as a a decent character from those trailers. She just seemed annoying to me. She seems yeah. seems like Jinx 2.0. I, you know, I uh, agree. I agree, and I think it's even worse because at least with Jinx, there weren't any politics surrounding it. They, they, we could, we could go on and on about, but about this stuff. Yeah, but, I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm tired of the 007 thing and the yeah, controversy. Just, it, just it, do it. I've accepted it. She's going to be 007. He's not getting it back. We know that, right? He's not going to get it back at the end. So, like, if you have any hope about him getting it back, there's no way. She's going to. <laughs> She's going to have 007. He is yeah. going to enter this movie and end the movie by not being 007 at all. Because he's five years out of retirement. There's no way he's going to like you know hit the gym for a week and then come back. And then the 007 <laughs> title is already taken by uh, Nomi. So unless she dies, which they're not going to kill her off, because that would signal like a weak, a weak character. And yeah, we do yeah, not yeah, want yeah. to do that. She's not going to die. She's not going to die, and she's not going to give it up because... That would be even worse than her dying. <laughs> yeah. And she said, "Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I held you on to your number. Here it is, sir. You know, there. Could you imagine? They would never do that. Oh my God. Yeah. No. But, it's. Yeah. It, 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 this kind of signals the um, the weirdness of of what we're in. Like we do a video about our expectations. Yeah. No time I know. All we end up talking about is the 007 number and <laughs> killing our bond. Because those are our concerns. It's like, it's like initially... That, like, that shows you how deep we're in. Because never before in any movie, what are your expectations? I hope he doesn't die. I hope he's still 007. <laughs> And here it is. And like even before we turned the cameras on, we were just like, I, I want to be optimistic about this. I don't want to be like <laughs> such a downer. And like now it seems like like people are going to be saying says why are you guys even going to the movie <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why yeah. are you even going to watch it <laughs> i mean we're still bond fans i'm going to yeah. see this regardless I mean, but i mean it's fine it, it's fine Maybe, i'm going to see it i've accepted it she's going to be 007 you right. know it's just something that i associate with uh, james bond and it's but, kind of um, annoying that they're just giving it off to somebody some other character and it seems like a gimmick we we are it's, assuming though because I've seen n numerous rumors like one of the rumors was like the 003 was on her car the, the, that number or some number I can't remember but like the um, uh, like her she has a car in the movie Lashana Lynch and and the number 003 was written on it I don't I don't know if you would do that if you were a spy in, in the story like to get your like code number on there just actually That's I have like a personalized plate that like secret yeah. agent 007 but I remember <laughs> right. seeing that like they like they supposedly proved like well actually they changed it she's not no they've heard the backlash and now she's no longer 007 but now I don't know anymore what to expect <laughs> so who yeah, knows they, um, I mean they could have done like you know a thing like uh who was the one? Um, they could have just made her. Uh, what was it? Double O nine, and she shows up. Inspector, like he he stole Double O nine's car, and wrecked it. So maybe that'd be like you know she'd be Double O nine coming back, and that this is the reason why she's pissed Wouldn't off. Wouldn't that be him. funnier though? Wouldn't this, that be funny? You, I, I mean, you you damaged my uh, vehicle. It, it made that mission a little bit extra tough because you bond. Where's my Sinatra tape, or you know yeah. something? Like, you know. I was just thinking. About like I wouldn't Sinatra even tape. care. I, I, even... I don't. I don't. I don't see Lashana listening to Sinatra. Oh yeah, I know. Other yeah. than that, other than that's, that, it's, it's uh, that true. would be funny. Like oh, Double O Nine from Spectre. That that would be a funny connection. Um, you get it out of the way, and I mean, there's some back. continuity. And like, I wouldn't <laughs> even blink. I wouldn't even. Oh, she's Double O Nine. So we'll, we'll delve into something different because people are going to be like, yeah, oh, yeah. let's see if we can get I something know. positive in. Let's, let's see if we can. <laughs> <laughs> But um, because um, I'm really struggling to think about this. Um, uh, positive stuff. Yeah, I mean the DB5. Uh, I was uh, hesitant about like you know them bringing it back again, but like that that chase, the chase scene. Uh, that that looks like something that's going to be really fun. Like I, I'm anxious to see that thing. Yeah, actually, actually being used in like a uh, action scene and not just a prop. Him just sitting and, in it, stuff like that's that that'll be cool. That's going to be something new. And I just picked up on a positive here on your side because I remember when we did the trailer discussion, 
two years ago. So this is the one yeah. positive thing um, that that time did for you. Because I remember you said back then, like, I'm fed up with seeing the DB5 yeah. every time. And now it's like, well, the positive thing is we're going to see the DB5 again. So yeah. that changed for you. That, that did change for me. Now, like, we've seen it enough times, it's going to be... Hopefully there's going to be some of the cool moments in that chase scene that we haven't seen yet. But when that yeah. thing like has the guns out and it's spinning around, firing at the guys, really it's like, cool. okay, now that's cool. That's not just like you know them pulling out, pulling it out and in into a garage and having Bond you know just drive it down the road. They're actually I mean, doing least, something new with it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah be, I, I agree. Yeah, and no, like I, I'm not even going that like I, I remember like you know, being really upset with this uh, the continuity between the DB5 in, in Skyfall and Casino Royale, you know, the, the, the steering wheels on the wrong side. It's, it doesn't make sense. Why would he have these gadgets and stuff? I'm not even going to question it. It's like, all right, it's, it's all fully yeah. loaded and everything. And that's fine. Yeah. Uh, there, there is, there is still a lot of stuff to be excited about. Luckily, um, for once for me, uh, Ana de Armas, uh, that, uh, that's, that's one I'm excited about. Even if she probably gets less screen time, I, I am curious what Rami Malek is going to do with, with Safin. That's another one. Yeah. I mean, I think he'll, he'll make a pretty good, uh, villain. Yeah. The, um, the story itself. I'm just curious what they're going to do with that. Another topic we're going to be discussing. I'm going to be, uh, kind of anxious to finally hear this, uh, Billy Ellish song. Because I oh, have not yeah. heard it. That's that's funny because <laughs> that's also been out for two years. Yeah, <laughs> I so it's never to... popped out on the radio. Maybe it popped out on the radio before, no. and you, you didn't I, even notice. I've so, I've somehow like avoided hearing that still, and so oh. I, that one I'm gonna keep in the back pocket. I'm just gonna watch it, watch it in the movie, and hear it like how it is. And I, like, yeah. did you like the song? I didn't even know. Like, were you? Yeah, uh, I did kind of. I. I don't want to spoil too much because you've never heard it, but yeah. um, my opinion is it's better than Sam Smith's uh, Riding on the Wall. Yeah. Over, I did get need to get used to it. It need to, needed to grow on me, but now that it's two years old already, it's like, or something, I, I've heard it enough to kind of enjoy it. It, it is kind of um, an emotional song, and the lyrics actually are pretty cool when you actually listen to it. It, mm. it does have a bond connection. It's a lot better than what I was expecting from her beforehand. Mm. Um, that's my opinion. But but did you also maybe so you didn't hear the Billy Eilish song? Oh no. But Hans Zimmer also they also released the Hans Zimmer score for no. the gun battle. No. That oh. one. Could recommend you the, the gun barrel. It sounds amazing. I, I think I did hear that, but that was a while ago they released that, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and you can visualize. Kind of, it would look, I think, at least, really cool in the opening with that tune. I think Hans Zimmer nailed it. The, so definitely going to be that is the official one. So we won't have to complain and say there was no gun barrel in this. It seems like there will be a gun barrel opening in No Time to Die. I'm pretty certain Unless they're going to end the movie again. like a again complete with... gun barrel opening. Really cool. And the, the one thing I picked up on that is as soon as the gun barrel music is over and like the iris zooms out, it goes into typical Hans Zimmer music. It's like the start of, it's like a Dunkirk sco score. Hmm. It's like, it's, it's that kind of danger sound that he produced for that movie. Those first notes that he does for the for the movie they sound like dunkirk you you can you can look it up it's it, it looks pretty cool the sound of the movie so, so it's going to complement um nomi walking in that circle like pretty well then you you think huh <laughs> yeah oh man i hope it's not nomi <laughs> <laughs> so anyway our expectations for yeah. no time to die unfortunately most of the stuff we ended up talking about is negative yeah we had negative. good hopes <laughs> That, yeah, well, like but we have good hopes, and I am being sincere here, that this is going to be a good movie. Yeah. Uh, what are your expectations beforehand of where it's going to be ranked in the five movies of Craig? Oh, I still think, like, I know uh, I, I sound like a Debbie Downer, but um, I think I think generally No Time to Die is going to be uh, decent. It's going to be good. I still, th I, I've been saying this for a long time now. But I, I still think it will be a decent movie, and it's not going to be as good as Casino Royale or Skyfall. 
but it's going to be better than Quantum Inspector. So it's going to fall right right in, right in the middle. I, I think it will be satisfying. I think it will be satisfying with with he, even with all the silliness with you know you know 007 and no me and some of the other stuff we'll we'll, we'll talk about that I have reservations about, but. I think it'll be decent. I, I think we'll uh, be- you you took the, the words out of my mouth because that's where I would rank it in where I expect it to be ranked as well. I think it, it from the looks of it, it, it looks like better filmed and a more competent story than Quantum, and it looks capable to be a, a more yeah. fun movie than Spectre. Maybe I did like Spectre a lot more than you, but I also feel it won't top Skyfall and. and Casino Royale, but it, it 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 is able to do the other ones. Yeah. I Probably. mean, it could change. It, it could it could I could be completely off. I'm just these I'm are just, just our expect, expectations, yeah. of course. It's based just on the trailer. kind of a prediction, but yeah, yeah. That that's where I won't be surprised yet. It's, it'd be like you know, ranking three in Craig's uh, Bond uh, list. Yeah, no, we're we're on the same page here. So those are my expectations as well. And we're now a couple of months out to see it, and we'll see. Um, afterwards if our expectations were correct we'll, we'll see what happens we shall see so in the next part of this ongoing series we'll be discussing the no time to die story over on john's channel all the uh, odd number episodes are going to come up on mine all the even number episodes are going to come up on john's channel so uh, go find part two over at haphazard stuff's channel Check it out, and we'll be back to discuss the No Time to Die story. Take care.